Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Sandra. Good evening. Good evening, good evening everyone. Mayra, Dancy, Melanie, and uh, Brian. Hi, guys. Good evening, good teacher. How good evening, you? everybody. Uh, teacher. Please listen to the class. Please come at house. I am sick. <laughs> You're sick. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Teacher. Okay. Hi. Uh, Lo siento si me ausento por un momento, pero sí estoy en, estoy en turno, salimos hasta las 12. Entonces, okay. pero voy a ser un poco atento, eh, por lo menos para ser un poquito más partícipe. Ok, thank you, Brian. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Buenas noches a todos, por cierto. Good night. Good, uh, good evening, guys. Good evening, yes. yes. Sorry. It's okay. Ok, everyone. How is everything? How are you today? How do you feel? Uh, I feel all uh, my day was a uh, uh, productive day. Oh, okay, it was very productive. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I went. I went to my coworker uh, to Santa Tecla for recording uh, videos for to do a a commercial uh, commercial TV. Okay. Yes, yeah. I understand. TV, a TV commercial. TV commercial, yes. A TV commercial. Okay. Interesting, interesting, yes. Yes. All right, all right. Well, at, the, at least you did something different, you know. <laughs> it was not the same routine. Yes, yes. Okay, thank yeah. you guys for uh, being here, for joining today's session. It is a pleasure for me to see you guys again. And it is a pleasure to be here as your guider. Let's begin. There are very few people, <clears throat> only eight people. Very few. Okay. Let me take attendance. Or nah, let, let's wait. Esperemos un, unos minutos. In the meantime. In the meantime, let's begin here. Let's begin. Iniciemos. Mientras esperamos que el demás se conecten, comencemos. Let's begin. The first thing, the first thing that we're going to do is, excuse me, today I didn't change the time. My apologies. It's Tuesday today. Four. Fourth of July. So the first thing that we're going to do is this. We are going to review yesterday's topic. <clears throat> and that topic was about the monstrative uh, pronouns. Okay, and those are this, that, those, and these. There are four demonstrative pronouns, four of them. All right, let me mention them again. This, that, those, these all right yes and uh <laughs> excuse me <laughs> it says here share what you remember about demonstrative pronouns what do you guys remember que recuerda about demonstrative pronouns remember teacher uh, that uh, demonstrative pronoun um for example, that and those are are for uh, are for plural. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and that these and uh, these and the uh, this is a uh, singular. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Yes, you are a little confused here. Okay. Uh, is there is there anybody else uh who can give me a different idea or a different uh opinion? Um, there is four pronouns. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, 
this is when the object is near to me. That is um, when the object when the object is far. And these and those. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you, Carlos and Jorge, for uh, both of you, your participations. Yes, let me remind you of the demonstrative pronouns. Yes. The, these and those, listen to this ones. These, these and those are used for plural. All right. Those and these. This and that on the other hand, are used for only one thing or singular, okay? Singular. But let me show you. Yes, let me remind you of it by showing you how it is really done. Look, I have similar examples, the ones that I showed you yesterday. Let's look at them. <coughs> we got uh, demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, and those. I told you, or we mentioned, or you guys mentioned that this is for singular, that is for plural, these is for, uh, sorry, that is for singular, these is for plural, and those is for plural, all right? That's how they go. And it says here, we use demonstrative pronouns to show the existence of something or someone at a place. We use this and that in a singular form. We use these and those in a plural form. I like this pet. I like this pet. He loves that diner. He loves that diner. Me gusta esta mascota, right? That's what, it, sorry, yes, oh, yeah, yeah. I like this, this pet, yes, I, me gusta esta mascota. He loves that diner. A él le gusta ese comedor. Diner, comedor, yes. And look, they are in the singular form. Only one pet, only one diner, okay? There is no plural, okay? So it's the singular form. Look at this one. They only bought those Adidas bands. Graciela needs these tools, okay? He said, Then we compro esas, esas bandas adidas. Bandas como, como las que se ponen en las manos. Yes. Sudadera, right? No, no. I don't know. Yes. Graciela needs these coins. Ella requiere o necesita estas herramientas. Plural. Okay. As you can see. Now let's continue. Look, provide an example using the demonstrative pronouns. People, only one. Let's begin. Well, let me see how many people we have here. Okay, there are more people. We are ready. Okay, hold on. Let me take attendance before we do that. No, you know what? Think about example. Think about example right now. One example uh, with, with this, that, these, and those. You choose only one, okay? Only one. You choose whichever one you want, and then you will share it. So I'm going to give you time to think about it. Let me take attendance. Ana Victoria Galan. Asalia uh, Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Present teacher, present. Thank you, Carlos. Here. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. Denise Alejandra Zuniga. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacón. Present. Thank you, Edith. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Present teacher. Thank you, Ismael. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. 
Rafael Alejandro Morales Ávila. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Thank you, Raquel. Sandra Ibez Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Sara Rachel Salazar. Oh, thank you, Sara. And the last one is Jancy Andrea Solorzano Castro. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay. I think you guys are ready. You are more than ready. I think you can give me like 10 examples right now. No problem. <laughs> but I need only one. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Anyone, a volunteer, please. I need to buy this bottle. Okay, I need to buy this bottle. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Continue, people. Continue, continue. I I drink this coffee. Okay, I am. Maybe I am drinking this coffee. I can. I can drink a tea. I am. I am drinking. I, I, I am drinking this coffee. Exactly, yes. I am okay. drinking this coffee. Yes, this coffee. Exactly, okay. exactly. If people continue. And when I was a child, I really loved those fields with flowers. Like fields with uh, like apples? I really love those fields with flowers. Okay. Okay, thank you, Carlos, for your example. People, continue. Hello? Hello. Hello. Um... I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. I didn't catch it. Ismael, yes. Uh, for example, my cat is sleeping in this sofa. Okay. Uh, my, my cat is sleeping on the sofa. Okay. Yes. On the sofa. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Let's continue. Anyone? Hello, people. <laughs> Okay, let me choose people directly then. Let me see. Let me try with you, Edith. Give us an example. Okay, she's not there, she's not responding. Let's see, let me try with somebody else, uh, Mayra. I like that song. I like, I like that, that song. song. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't song. get it. Sound. I like the sound. Okay, I like the sound. Okay. 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 Thank you, Mayra, for your example. Let's continue with Diana. Hello, teacher. Um, ah. I really like the flowers. I really like? Dense flowers. Okay, I really like these flowers. Okay, thank you for sharing your example. Jorge, can you share one? I need to buy a socks like that. Okay, I need to buy a pair of socks. A pair of socks. A pair of socks like that. Yes, exactly. Uh, let me see. Let me continue with Victoria. Do you have one, Victoria? Um, I like. I like use that. I like you. I like use that. Pop when I go to the beach. 
I like to use, I like to use that hat. <laughs> oh, let me show you something. I see that, that some of you make this mistake. You make this mistake very often and uh, it's kind of uh, easy to explain. <clears throat> We have a couple of, of uh, combinations. One, two, it has to be another one. Well, let's leave it like that. Oh, and let's use low. Okay. <clears throat> Look, I'm sorry, people, I have this problem. I have throat problems, excuse me. Let me drink some water. Okay, I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not my intention. Let's continue. Let me see. Ah, oh, I was going to show you something. Sometimes, sometimes we would like to put two verbs two verbs in the same sentence, okay? For example, we say, uh, let's use only these ones. These ones are easy. All right, need. Need means necesitar, right? Yes. In Spanish, we say, yo necesito saber. Okay, we're using two verbs, right? Yo necesito saber. Two different actions, two different verbs. Yes, in Spanish, it's that easy. In Spanish, it's super easy. Yo necesito saber. Easy. In English, it's not like that. You know, saber is no. Okay? Put it here. If I say I, I need no, <clears throat> this is correct in Spanish. Okay, in Spanish. But this is not correct in English. Okay? In English, we have two options we have two options option number one use a preposition the preposition is to i need to know okay in the case in the case of the verb need this one is uh well in most of the cases necessary okay with need if you want to use need with another verb you have to separate them with two in the middle. I need to know, I need to go, I need to take, I need to give, I need to buy, etc. Okay. The same, the same situation happens with like, like to. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's use cook. I like to cook. Okay. Cook another verb. Two different verbs. And we need to use, we need to use the preposition to separate the verbs. In English, in English, we cannot to, uh, put two verbs together. Okay, no se puede poner dos verbos juntos así como así, like cook. I like cook, no. Okay, no es correcto. I like to cook. Algunos verbos tienen dos formas. Uh, like es uno de esos. You can say like to cook or you can say like cooking and both both examples or both options are correct so but we need we need the preposition look i want to uh i want to let me see a verb uh i want to check i want to check i want to i want check no okay that is not correct i want check in spanish it is correct quiero revisar yes it's correct in Spanish, but not in English. I want to check. Okay, love is encantar. Me encanta leer. I love to read. Okay, I love to read. No olviden esa regla para separar dos verbos en una misma, misma oración. Okay. Sí, sí. Yes. Y cuando se contrae want, o se dice I wanna, siempre oh. se le pone... In this case, if it's wanna, it means want to. Lo mismo que está acá. Ah. In vez de want to, pone wanna. Ah, okay. Suena, suena como wanna, wanna, wanna. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
let's go back let's go back and uh let's stop sharing so we were providing examples right there are some people missing there are some people missing let me see uh melanie do you have an example write to book i'm sorry write to book write the book yes what, what, which one is the pronoun what is the pronoun i write to book i'm write sorry uh-huh ¿Es el libro? ¿Este libro? ¿Estos libros? ¿Esos libros? Tu book. Those. Un libro. A book. Oh, no, no. Tiene que usar este libro, ese libro, estos libros o esos libros. Ah, okay. This, that, those, and these. Okay. I write this, this book. Okay, I write this book. Yes, I write this book. Exactly. Thank you for for uh, sharing your example. Let's see. Let's try with Carlos Eliezer. Carlos? Hi, teacher. Hi. Um, I want to use your cell phone. No. We have to use, we have to use this, that, those, and these. Ah. Uh. Sorry, and uh, I want to use this cell phone. <laughs> okay, I want to use this cell phone. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. People, excellent. We're going to stop right here, and we're going to continue, and I'm going to show you what we will work, we will be working on. And is this. This is what we are going to be working on. <laughs> here we go. All right, we continue, we continue with unit number two, online orders and refunds. And today's lesson objective is this one. I will be able to ask and give information about products in a polite way. Hey everyone, what is polite? Do you know? Do you have any ideas? It's like uh, this. Yes, yes. Okay. It's about good manners. It's about good manners. It's about the way you behave. Okay, behave, comportarse. It's the way you behave. That's what it is. So polite is what you guys exactly said. Cortes, educado. That's what it is. Uh, just to show you the antonym. The antonym is this one. Oops. That's the antonym. All right. Impolite will be the antonym. Very good. Now, it says here in number one, let's begin or let's start. Brainstorm questions that customers ask you about the product your workplace sells. Let's not do that here. We're gonna do it right here. Okay, everyone, let's discuss part number one. Let's begin. Brainstorm questions that customers ask you about the product your company or your workplace sells. What are those questions, people? What is brainstorm, teacher? Brainstorm. Guys, what is brainstorm? It's a it's rain, the rain of ideas. <laughs> Literalmente. Lluvia de ideas. Lluvia de ideas. That's brainstorm. I think. Teacher, brainstorm think. is a verbo. Yes, yes, exactly. It is a verb. It is a verb. Yes. Acá está como verbo. Sí, sí. Más bien como un comando. 
ideas. It will be, it will be in Spanish, generar, generar ideas. Bueno, en este caso, generar preguntas. Like, generar. Okay, by lluvia de ideas, that's what it is. People, what are those questions? Um, for example, what is the price of the product? Okay, that's a simple, uh, a very easy one. What is the price of the product? Okay, what is the price of the product? Excellent. Let's continue. Another one. For example, uh, do you have a do you have a size uh big? Oh. Do you have uh, the other size for this, uh, for this t shirt? This t shirt? What, what do you mean? Um, eh, ah, okay. Do you have this shirt in a deep, different? Oh, is it bigger, bigger or smaller? No, oh, it's smaller. Size. There you go. Uh -huh. Exactly. Do you have this shirt in a bigger or smaller in a in a bigger or smaller size? Okay, that's what it is. What else? What else? Continue. What is what is the do it like do it like the this product? What is the do it right? Como fecha de vencimiento de this product. Okay. There you go. When does the product expire? What else? Guys, what else? How many the cost of the shipping? Shipping. How how much the shipping cost? Okay. All right. Another question. More questions? What does your metal payment? Okay, what are, right? What are your... <coughs> wow. It's little rice. <coughs> Teacher. Whose dog is that? Okay. What are your methods of, of payment? All right. And one more question, people. One more question. Do you have it? Do you have this shirt in other color? Okay. Do you have this shirt in a different color? Do you have this? Uh, Oops. There you go. Look. Do you have this product in a different color? All right. People, you know, customers, clients, uh, they ask a lot of questions. <laughs> they ask a lot of questions about any, they ask about any little detail, you know, every, every little detail. All right. And these are some questions that they usually ask. The next thing that we're going to do is focus on part number two, people. Let's continue with part number two. It's a conversation about these two people. How oh, can I get rid of this? Okay, excuse me. All right, uh, it says here, Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. People, let me read this uh, conversation to you. Listen to the pronunciation, and if there is a word, 
expression or sentence that you do not understand, let me know. Okay. Oh no, Linda. Linda is a very bad name for everyone. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty uh, of it is for, and uh, it currently continues, yes. All right. People, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? For the paragraph, paragraph number three. Yes. It's a, was, it's, it's a the pronunciation. Of course, it was a couple uh, yes. Cubic feet. Of what? <laughs> cubic feet. Cubic, cubic, cubic feet. In the shop, yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. It's a, that, that's about it's the, a the, the... Breviot. Uh, abbreviatura. Yes, abbreviation. Uh, abbreviation. abbreviation. Yes. Abbreviation. abbreviation. No, abbreviation. <laughs> yes. Uh, abbreviation. Abbreviation. <laughs> Something like that. You get like, <laughs> Yes. Okay. There are many of them. Many, many abbreviations. Okay. Muy bien. Let's continue. Uh, more questions? No. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Now, we're going to practice this conversation, and also we're going to do part number three, which is about the conversation, as usual. The uh, Let me see, part three. Part three, there are three questions that you need to answer. These questions are about the conversation, okay? Yes. So, to practice this conversation, I'm going to take you to the smaller groups, or to the groups, and in that way, you can uh, practice with your partner and you can work on part three with your partner. And you can be discussing answers and you can be discussing pronunciation and you can be sharing ideas. All right. So, and people, in the small groups, we're going to practice the conversation and we're going to do part number three. All right. Let me make like three of them. Only like four. Yeah, five is fine. I will see you guys there. I'll be I'll be helping you. Yes, it says somebody says that my connection is unstable. Who says that? I'm sorry, Jorge. Yeah, it, it's happening to me too. What you can do, what you can do, Jorge, is turn off your camera for a moment. And, and maybe in that way, you know, it's gonna go stable. All right. People, let's go. I will see you there, okay?
Una lavadora perfecta. Page. I am. Page. Twenty one. Okay. Pero. What does one want to buy is is pro washer. Washer or pro washer? Pro washer. Pro washer. Pro washer. Okay. The pro watcher and the number two. What question can you say in instant of a bit? And can you, you give me information about the what uh, warrant warranty? I don't know. Yes, warranty. What warranty? Yes, yes, warranty. What warranty? Warrant. Warrant. What? Okay, thank you, teacher. The warranty. Okay. And the number three are the and the second is the warranty. Uh, what? Number two. And uh, the 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 question. Uh, Asalia. Hoy. The answers the in the question number two is. Uh, can you give me the information about the <laughs> warranty? <laughs> the warranty. Yes. People work. Es como está, es, es, es como está ahí escrito, solo que en vez de la W A decimos WA. Y luego decimos lo mismo. Warranty. Warranty. Yes, warranty. warranty. Ah, warranty. ok. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Warranty. Thank you. Okay. Warranty. 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 After the the finish the uh, complete the the uh, the question. Wow. Okay. Well, and, uh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. And the number three. Number two. Um, that please. I am sorry. Teacher, can we see the, the questions about the conversation? Yes, of course. Yes. Oh, thank you. Um, ¿Qué quiere comprar? Dice la primera. Sí. What does Juan? ¿Qué quiere uh -huh. comprar Juan? Uh -huh. um, turbo processor. Uh -huh. No. No. And Seria <laughs> Pro Washer Capacitation. Uh, Juan dice: Podría hacer mi información acerca del Pro Washer? Ah, ok. I think it's a. Uh... Uh, the answer is uh, Pro Washer. What does Juan want to buy? Mm -hmm. uh, one, one wants to buy a pro washer. Okay. Want to buy. Want to one buy. wants to buy. One, one, one 
wants to buy the pro washer. The pro watch washer. Pro washer. Pro washer. What question can you say instead of repeat? Teacher, what it means instead? In, in, instead. Instead. Mm -hmm. Hi. Instead. Uh -huh. Instead of. What it means? In this day. That's what in it means. Day. In this day. In this day. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. What question can you say instead of repeat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you say de nuevo? Myself? That's again. Again. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, for And the other one, the real daughter. But in this case, it's like, what question can you use instead of to repeat? You can use many questions. Mm -hmm. You can use many questions. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's kind of a weird, it's a very weird question. Like it, I don't know. What question can you use? Can instead of repeat, I will say, uh, can you say that again? Mm -hmm. Uh we can make okay. other questions. Ah, oh, yeah. I think I think what what the question needs it's a question with can because we're talking about can in the questions if you see. Oh yeah, can and could. We have it's about can and could. So I'm guessing I'm guessing that number two it's that we have to think about question about can. Oh okay. So we we can we we need to change the question. Mm -hmm. uh, repeat repeat <laughs> the word repeat. Correct. It is a que pregunta puedes decir en vez de repetir. Can you say can you say that again, please? Ah, yeah, that one, that one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Number three, are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Impolite. Impolite. Yes. Impolite. Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Yeah, uh, we are polite when you school, right? Exactly. Exactly, you are right. Uh, for example, when Juan says, "Could you give me?" He is polite because he is talking with a, a polite mode, polite way. Mm. I think the answer is. Yes, the customer and the agent are polite because they are using can and could. But can is not entirely polite. Uh, oh, yeah, know. yeah. Cool is polite. Can is, is more informal. I, would, I wouldn't say it's like completely informal because many people use it. Like a lot of people use it. Like uh, yes. So I wouldn't say it is it, is informal. Like it's not like it's very common, very common. Oh, okay. But 
good, yeah. Good is, is formal, it's polite. Yes. Who is polite? Okay. It is, yes. Okay. Uh well, you guys already finished. You're going to practice. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose some of you in the main back in the main session. I'm going to choose some of you to practice the conversation. Okay. Okay. With uh more people. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you finish? Yes. What? Yes, yes, yes. We finished. Of course, of course right? Of course. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I know you finished. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's see. Let's check this out. So can you read the question and give me your answer at the same time? Yes. Um Jorge, uh, do you want to respond at number one? Yes. Okay. Juan wants to buy the pro washer. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, number two. No. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay, the number two. Uh, I think, for example, Oh, sorry, Ken. I can I can hear you well. I can I, I can hear you well. Sorry, I can I can hear you well. Uh, there are there are many ways to say that, you know. There are many ways to say that. Okay. Like, uh, okay. okay. Number <laughs> number three. Number three. You you what are you? Oh, yes. me. Uh, you. Okay. Uh, uh, both, 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 oh, okay. both of us. Are okay. the customer and the agents polite or impolite? And why? Uh, I think Linda he, not was, was polite mm -hmm. because she uses cool, can, and I'm sorry mm. uh, in the conversation. Mm. Okay. Yes, yes, both, both. Okay. Yes, like polite and impolite. Yes. Okay. Very good, very good. Uh yeah, back good. back in the main session, back in the main session, I'm going to choose some of you to practice the conversation with other people. All right. Which will be in probably two or three minutes, okay? The okay. number two, the, the teaching the number two, and the other question. You you have many, like I said, you have many, many options here. Uh like can you say it again? Can be one option. Uh I hold on. Let me. I couldn't hear you. No, es una pregunta aquí. Es, es, I couldn't hear you. No es pregunta. Pero es que decimos, no te pude escuchar. Estamos insinuando que queremos que me repita, ¿verdad? Entonces, like, I couldn't hear you. All right. O lo podemos decir al revés. I couldn't hear you. Can you say it again? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, there are many options. Can you repeat again? Can you come again? Okay, uh, can you say that again? There are many ways to say that, to repeat something, yes. Can you, could you? Okay, very good. Let me leave this group. I'm going uh, to go to another one. The last one, yes. See you guys soon. San Salvador. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. I we practice before. It's okay. And we had it. I don't have. We don't have the question. You don't have the questions yet. Right now, yes. Answer the the one. The one question. 
Instead, is a can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Es lo que repite ella que dice repítame la pregunta. No. Instead of significa en vez de. En vez de. Mm -hmm. Y dice ahí, en la dos, ¿qué pregunta puedes decir en vez de? Repetir? Repeat. The cost, the cost, and the idea it was the line. The cost is to open it, to open it, to open it, to open it, to open it. Yes, the item is. Oh, no. The, the cost. The customer is polite. What about the agent? The cost is that use the tool. Yes. Yes. Wait. Hi, Linda. Linda, too. No, in, in the whole conversation, but some question are for life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue then. I will see you later. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Yes. It's me. Did you two. did you finish the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's see. Share. Let me. Let me. Do you want you see? I'm sorry. You can I you can see. Ahora sí. I was sharing, I'm sorry. The second one is, is not correct. Uh, it says, what, what question can you use? Sorry, what question can you say instead of repeat? What ca question can you say instead of repeat? Mm -hmm. the, what, the, the question? Sí. Can you give me information about the warranty? They're talking about they're talking about the word the word repeats the there is a question that we can use instead of the word repeat would you repeat me no hello could you repeat me no. yeah probably yes basically see Lo que pide en la dos es, ¿qué pregunta puedes decir en vez de la palabra repetir? Ah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. y, 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 y como es de can y could, lo que vamos a hacer es ponerle una palabra, a, a, a ponerle, ponerle can a ese repeat. Can you repeat, please? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, so uh -huh. that's, what. <laughs> that's the answer. Can you repeat, please? Or could you repeat, así como dijo Raquel, could you repeat, please? Es lo mismo. Well, not the same, but. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, are the customer, the customer, the agent polite or impolite? Why? They are polite because they, they're talking with respect. Okay. <laughs> are you sure? Well, because they are, they are talking with, use the cool. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Think... Yes, it's, it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the main session. And over there, I'm going to show some people to practice the conversation. Let's go back. Regresemos. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hi everyone. Well, one, two, three, four. Estamos esperando que todo regrese, okay. Yes. Okay, I think everybody's back. Hemos regresado todos. People, excellent. Thank you for your uh, participation on part number three and also on part number two. You did a very good job. Uh, I didn't I didn't hear anyone uh, practice the conversation. I'm going to choose like six or, or yeah, four or six people to practice it for a uh, couple of minutes, this conversation. Let me choose two people. The first person uh, or the first couple is Jorge. Oh, yes. El multiverso de Ernesto. <laughs> and Ismael. Okay. Yes. We are here. The three Ernestos are here. Okay. <laughs> yes. Multiverso. Um, Jorge. Hi. You are Linda or Juan? <laughs> uh, Linda. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of five that two um, cut fit, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I am sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. Uh, the warranty of it is for blah, blah, blah. Fantastic, fantastic. Excellent. Thank you uh, to both of you, Ernestos, Ernestos <laughs> for your participation. Let's continue. Let me see. Uh, Sandra? Can you practice with uh, Mayra? Yes, of course, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Do you want to start, Mayra? Okay. I start. So, thanks so much, so much for calling Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet uh, turbo processor and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? 
I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is uh, for one year. Okay. So one year, she finished it. All right, thank you, Sandra and Mayra for your participation. Let me choose two more people, those much. Uh, Melanie and uh, Carlos, Eliezer. Okay, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washers? Of course. It has a capacity of 52 co-fit, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I am sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of the of it is for two years. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, thank you, Carlos and, and Melanie for your participation. Uh well, we are going to continue or move on. The next thing that we're going to do is work on part number four. If you go down to part number four on page number 22. You're going to find it. It's right there. How to use can and could. Uh, this is a very, very common question for people that are learning English. Like, what's the difference between can and could? Okay. The difference is very simple. Uh, there are many, many, many uh, articles or uh, lessons about can and could. All right. But the difference is simple. Can is informal, could is formal or polite. That's it. Okay, that's it. Yes. Okay. But, but of course, there are uh, some uh, differences between the two of them. Yes. We can use can in different, in different circumstances or different situations. And also, we can use could in different situations. Let me mention just three of them right now. I have the information in the presentation. You're going to see the information later on. But may, let me mention three, three uh, situations in which we can use can. We can use can to express our abilities, okay? Things that we can do. For example, I can cook, puedo cocinar. Okay, that's one, one thing. Another use of can is for possibilities, okay? Things that are possible, that can happen or cannot happen, possibilities. And one more, it's for request. Request is a favor. I will show you what request is later on. Okay. So as you see, Lee, I, I'm just uh, I just mentioned three uses of can, and there are more. There are more uses of can that I'm going to show you, and there are uses of good that I'm going to show you as well. Okay. We're gonna read the information later on. Let's go to the presentation. This is the presentation. Okay. Yes, it goes here. All right, look, I got the information and I have the uses, the uses of can and the uses of could. Can and could are modal verbs that can be used in different situations. Okay, por qué se llama modal? Modal verbs. Verbos de modo, okay. ¿Por qué modo? Porque se puede usar para diferentes modos. Okay. Yes. All right. As I told you, or as I mentioned before, we use can in an informal way. Yes. Okay. Muchos, muchos dicen que es can es informal. Okay. Y sí, básicamente sí, es informal. Se puede decir también que es común. Okay. Muy común usar can. All right but it's, it's informal. If you're writing, if you're writing something for your boss, for your superior, or I don't know, for the president, <laughs> yes, you need to write formally, yes. So in that case, you have to avoid 
writing or using can. Yes. Okay. Now, ability is the first the first use of can. Ability, I mentioned this one before. It's a, a things that we can do. I can cook. I can speak three languages. I can drive. I can dance, etc. Inability is the opposite of the ability. Things that I cannot do that are not possible for me. Okay, or that I haven't learned or acquired yet. For example, in my case, I cannot play soccer. I cannot play soccer, okay? I have a, a ligament problem in my uh, left knee. So for me, it's impossible to play. I don't have the ability to play soccer. So I can't or I cannot play soccer. Possibility, I can pass tomorrow's exam. Puedo pasar el examen de mañana. Possible. I don't know. Request, no, request is a favor. Ese request es un favor. Favor, right? Favor. Okay, that is, for example, when we want a person to do something for us, we use can. For example, hey, Mayra, can you open the door, please? Can you open the door? Okay, puedes tú abrir la puerta? Can you open the door? Okay, ese es un favor. Okay, I need that favor from you. So, request okay. is a favor. Okay, yes. Permission is similar to request. Okay, but permission is, is can I, puedo yo. Request is puedes tú, can you. Okay, that's the difference. Permission. Can I can I leave can I leave the class right now? Can I leave the class? Leave is irse, okay. I don't know. Can I leave the class? Puedo irme de la clase. I'm asking for permission. You tell me, yes, you can. No, you can't. Okay. And prohibition, things that uh, are not we're not supposed to do. Okay, prohibiciones. For example, you cannot smoke in banks. No puedes, no se puede fumar en un banco. Okay, that's prohibition. Could is formal. And it also expresses a few things. It expresses past abilities. Cosas que podíamos hacer. Example, I could play soccer. Yo podía jugar fútbol. Después de mi lesión, ya no puedo. Okay, so, pasado. Okay, I could. Habilidad pasada. I could, I could, uh, play soccer yes okay another one i could play the bass podía tocar el bajo i could play the bass yes me olvido so i i i can't <laughs> okay past inability una inhabilidad pasada que no podíamos hacer y que ahora sí podemos hacer i couldn't i couldn't swim no podía i couldn't swim no podía nadar okay and uh, I, Aún no puedo. Okay. Yeah. It happens, you know. I couldn't write. No podía escribir. I couldn't it's write in English. It's a true teacher. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> it is true. Yeah, I cannot swim. I'm sorry. I can't. Yes. Huh? Yeah. If I go, really? if I go to the, <laughs> if I. Teacher, never go to the sea. If I. If I have an accident, an accident in the ocean, it's uh, I'm dead. Okay, I cannot swim. Like there is no oh, chance no. of survival for me. <laughs> okay, oh, hey, observe okay. acá. Observe acá. Very important. Look. Possibility, possibility. Request, request. Permission, permission. Okay, we can use, like I mentioned again, uh, uh, the earlier, we can use can and could in the same way, but uh, the formality, the formality is different, okay? I can say, hey, can you open the door? Puedes abrir la puerta o puedes abrir la puerta? Okay, could you open the door? Podrías abrir la puerta? Es como más suave, could, okay? Más formal, o formal, mucho más formal. The same, the same happens for possibilities, okay? Yes. And permission. All right, lo mismo, lo mismo, lo mismo. But I have more examples. Let me show them to you. They are here. Look, acá están. Pozos nombres, I'm sorry. <laughs> With some of your names, algunos. 
let me see. Uh, Sandra, read the ability part, Sandra. Okay. Um, Anna can draw nice portraits. Okay. And Anna can that... draw nice portraits. I'm sorry? Okay, Anna can draw nice portraits. Yes. Yes, okay. That's Anna's ability, okay? Yes, portraits on retratos, retratos, okay? So Anna can, can do that, yes. All right, excellent. Thank you for reading. Ismael, read inability. Birch can't speak Italian. Jorge, can you speak Italian? <laughs> we don't know. Really? Yeah, I think he can. <laughs> yeah, I can. That's not... <laughs> wow, he can, he can. All right. You're it's not the sentence. I think he's Is that dying. the sentence? <laughs> you okay. say yes. Yeah, I can. I can speak Italian. Really? I would like, but... Oh, you can't? I can't. Ah, okay. You so say, yes, I can. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was, like, I was uh, surprised. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sí, no Maybe, in the future. <laughs> Maybe in the future, you never yes, know. Yes, I can. <laughs> you okay, will right. can. <laughs> you will do it. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, okay. Jorge can speak Italian. Sorry, Jorge. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, Diana, read possibility. Possibility. Mauricio yeah. can pass the exam. Okay, Mauricio can pass the exam. Okay, Mauricio puede pasar el examen. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for reading it. Uh, Raquel, Elizabeth, continue with request. Can you open the window? Okay, can you open the window? I use a window, window. <laughs> Sorry, no va la N final, okay? Window is uh, W-I-N-D-O-W. The N is not, shouldn't be, shouldn't be there. It shouldn't go there. Carlos Eliezer, read uh, the next one, uh, permission. Can I go to the party? Okay, can I go to the party? I'm asking for permission. Thank you for reading it. Thank you, thank you, Sandra. Excellent. <laughs> All right, Victoria, read the last one, prohibition. Um, tenants can have pets in their in their apartments. Okay, tenants can have pets in their apartment. Tenants inquilinos, okay, no pueden tener mascotas en sus apartamentos en la prohibición prohibido. All right, so solo uso del can. Let's let's take a look at the uses of good in the formal way. Yes. Let me see. Edith, can you read past ability? Can you open? La otra can, can I go to, here? Can I go to the party? No, no. Past ability. Acá. Estamos en could, could. Could, could. Es la primera, past ability. La primera. Carlos could play the guitar, but... Ay, no veo lo que sí. But the hat in accident. Ok. Carlos could play the guitar. Ok. Carlos podía tocar la guitarra, but he had an accident. Pero tuvo un accidente. Maybe he, he messed up yeah. his fingers or no, his hand. That's why he... He cannot, okay, do that. Uh, let's continue, thank you for reading. Let's see, past inability, past inability, let me see, Carlos Eliezer, can you read it? Uh, I did cool, current drive, but, the sh but she took classes. Okay, Edith couldn't, couldn't drive, but she took classes. Edith no podía conducir o manejar, pero tomó clases. All right, that's una 
inhabilidad pasada. Possibility. Let's continue. Mayra. Sara could study French. Okay. Sara could study French. Sara podría estudiar francés. It's a possibility. Okay. It's a possibility. Let's continue down here. Sandra, read the next one. Request. Sorry. Could you send the report, please? Okay. Could you send the report, please? Thank you for reading it. And uh, Sara, read permission. I charge something. Okay, yes. It's just not common there. Like for me, it's not very common to use good uh, for permission, but you can use it. Okay, you can use it, but you could use it. Do you have any questions, people? Any questions? For this moment, no. Oh, okay. Very good. I have. I have more examples here. Well, a picture with more examples. Let me read this one to you. Can ability. I can speak three languages. Okay, good ability. I don't have that ability. I wish I could have it. She can play the piano. Okay, ability. Offer. Okay, es una oferta o como se hace para ayudar a alguien. Can I help you? I can send this letter to you. Okay. Also ability. Possibility, smoke, smoking can cause cancer. It can get very hot there these days. Request, can you hand me the pencil? Can I go to the park? Permission, excuse me. In this one, can I go to the park is not request. Let me cross that one out. This one. Mm -hmm. It's permiso, no es, no, es, no es solicitud. It's not request. I don't know why it is there. Permission. Can I borrow your notebook? And uh, can I speak to Mary? Okay, that's permission. All right. People, what is borrow? Sorry. It's, 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 it's okay. Pedir prestado. Seguimos. Uh, let's see, continue with could. I could play a guitar when I was a child. I could smell something burning. Okay, podía oler algo quemándose. Suggestion, sugerencia, okay, suggestion. I could help you with, I could help you with Spanish. Podría ayudarte con, el, con tu español o con el español. They could go to the movies if you are interested. Podrían ir a, la, a las películas o al platine si estuvieras interesado. Possibility, a lot of crime could be prevented. You could have called first. Request, could you hand me the pencil? Could I go to the park? And that's permission, okay? Could I borrow your notebook and could I speak to Mary? All right, there you go. Again, let me repeat this to you. We use can in an informal way and we use good in a formal way. They can, you can be used in the same situations, but remember the formality is different, okay? Do you have any questions? Tiene alguna pregunta? No questions? In this moment, not. Okay. We're gonna go back to the to this. It says, uh, can you provide your own examples? But no, we're gonna go to this part over here. Uh, can you see an example using the picture below? What example can you give me with this picture? With using can or could? For example, the boy can play soccer. The boy can or can't? Can't. 
Okay. The, the boy, boy can't, can't play so can't right. play soccer. Yes. The boy can't play soccer. Okay. Or for example, or um can can the boy uh, get out uh, get out for the partido in English? The match, the Is match. The match, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Can you, the you boy can the boy get can the boy get out for the match? Yes, yes, it works. All right, thank you. Okay. Oh, something that that I just wanna. Can es afirmativo, can't es negativo. También se puede decir cannot. Lo he visto así, separado, separado no va, ok? Tiene que ir unido. I, I've seen it like this, can and not. Pero no es así, es el que está arriba, ok? Unido. Yes. And could, couldn't. O se puede decir could not, si lo separa. Very good. Let's continue. There's another picture. Look, what can you tell me about this picture? Using can, could, can't, couldn't, I don't know. Hello? She can run in morning. She can run in the morning. Yes. Okay, she can run in the morning. Can you give me another example, guys? Can she so, run? Can she run to the to the floor? To the what? Sorry. Uh, to the to the I don't know to the to the park uh, to the gym. Yes, to the, <laughs> to the park. <laughs> to the park. Okay. Can she run to the park? Can she yes. run to the park? Yes, okay. Could Look. Could... Oh, okay. Yes, Santa. <laughs> Could she run more fast? Could she run faster? Could she run faster? Okay. Faster, yes, faster. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. All right, look. Oh, no, that's me cooking. <laughs> this is me cooking, people. <laughs> he can board the the cook the food ah the food okay he can board the food. He, he can. possible right would you fire the house uh... yeah he could he could like uh, destroy the house uh, many many examples right could he destroy the house so let's say here Jorge can cook. <laughs> Right, example there. Mm -hmm. So what is your example, guys? Um, the official one. He couldn't, he couldn't use the extinguisher. Extinguisher. But Fire extinguisher. extinguisher. Yes. Fire but, extinguisher. Yes. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Can you help me teach? He couldn't. He couldn't um, use the ex what extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. The but sentence is complete. It's correct. And it's complete. Uh, it's correct. Oh. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, sorry. Es que yo quería. Es que yo quería decir. Sorry, teacher. Es que yo quería decir de que él podía. Él no podía usar el extintor, pero ahora sí. Ah. Oh. It, but it, it's, he can now. It, it, it's the he, idea. Oh, you can say he, he could not. He could not use the fire extinguisher, but he can now. Uh, so, okay. Will he call to the uh, that um fire station? He could call. Yes. Okay. To the fire station. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh no, people. Don't cook, okay. What about this one? You know this woman. If you don't know this woman, oh uh, no. <laughs> maybe you know, maybe you don't. How, teacher? How? 
school <laughs> she'd be um how do you what is the name then she it's a example, singer there is a sing a man. singer a she singer could be a man. she could be a man oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no I mean, come on guys it is true she can she can already make you what's the one she can she can put on makeup put on put, es colocarse put on. ya puede colocarse el maquillaje she can ah. put on Put on, okay. Put on makeup. Yeah. Makeup. So, what's the official example, people? She can marry me. She can marry me. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone <laughs> says that. Can she my girlfriend? She's good. She's my girlfriend. She can. She can. Can, Carlos. You can do it, you can do it. Yes. <laughs> you can do it, don't worry. Everything is possible. <laughs> so Adele can sing, right? Can Por ella sing. estoy aprendiendo inglés. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, people, and uh, uh, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Adele is really good. You should listen to her music. It's good for, the, for your English. Yes. Yes, her and her music is good, you know. She she can be um Adele. It is Adele. It's oh, Adele. I, I, I understand your example now. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Very good, very good. There's one more. There's one more. Okay, look. Oh no. People, what can you say about this one? About this picture. She can my daughter. <laughs> she can be. She can be. She can be my daughter. Oh, okay. ¿Qué, qué quiere decir eso? ¿Qué expresa ella? ella? She can be my Please. daughter. What is it? Okay. ¿Qué es eso? Sorry, Sandra. Impossibility. Um, a possibility. Exactly, possibility. a possibility. Yes. She can be my daughter, right? A possibility. What else? She say, can I, can I get an ice cream? Okay, can I get an ice cream? Yes, probably, right? Yeah. Can the young girl can go to the, the park? Can, we... can the young girl... Okay, can I go to the park? Yes. Can the young girl go to the... Go to the, to the park? Is it the same? <laughs> yeah, it's like go the, to the, the swimming. One that, uh, Victoria go to the right? swimming. Go, go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Yes. Oops. Another one. Easy. People. Hello. It's about you can... permission. Permission. Per permission. No, <laughs> is uh, parking and how mm -hmm. how it says uh, don't parking or don't remember, I don't working. remember I don't we're remember there will be there will be no uh, no parking here or uh, no, no parking yeah parking. Uh, no yes. parking yes okay but uh what's your example we can't could you know. Mm. It couldn't be the parking lot. I'm sorry. It could could not be the parking lot. It could not be a parking lot. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That be might be standing for something different. Yes. You are right. You can you can parking here. Park. You can you can't park here. You can park here. Okay. You, yeah. Okay. Cannot. Some people still do. Okay. No se puede parquear acá. Okay. Now we're going to go to the book. We're done here. Let me see. No Sorry. 
wait, wait. Thank you teacher, for your participation. Yes. Teacher, I can go to the bed. You're asking me? ¿Está preguntando? Sí. Ah, oh, sería al revés. Can I? Can I? Go to the bed. Yes, yes no problem. Pero que es Pero que es I have a... I sleep. Listen the class in the bed. I am... I am sleepy. I am sleepy. <laughs> People, why are you sleepy? I'm not sleepy. It's the a, night is it's, your... It's the night. Apenas, apenas the night. night is coming. <laughs> yes. It's a tired youngness. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I need, I need. <laughs> Press. Relax, people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let me let me continue here. How to use can and could. We already uh took a look at this, but we're gonna read the examples that we have here on the book. Denise, since you've been a little bit absent, can you read the examples with can? Um I can give you my personal information. Yes. She can't pay for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? Okay, thank you for reading, Denise. I can give you my personal information. She can't uh, pay for the washer right now. Can I have your credit card number? And can you tell me how many items you need? Thank you for reading. And those are examples with can, okay? Let's see. Let me read. Let me choose another person to read the next one. Raquel Elizabeth. He's not there. All right. Let me see. Victoria, read examples with could. Microphone, your microphone is off. You could try with another credit card. They could give you, you could, they couldn't give you my billing address. Would you steal your last name? Uh, could we check the details of my order? Okay, thank you for reading, Victoria. Let me read them again. You could try with another credit card. They couldn't give you my billing address. Could you spell your last name? And could we check the details of my order? Okay, those are the examples we could. Now we get this complete the question. Number five, look. Complete the questions with can and could. Then ask a partner and write the answers. Okay, people, let's go. We're gonna write two questions with can and two questions with could. Okay, let's go. The questions can be about anything. Pueden ser de cualquier cosa, okay? Your example, your questions. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Wait. Give me a second. Bring it back. This one.
people let me know no finish teacher okay thank you finish too thank you alhamdulillah People, your names are very common. All your names are very common. Very common. Yes. At the school where I work at, I have, uh, well, I have many students. And uh, they have all your names. There are other Sarah, other Sandra, exactly, other exactly. Carlos. I have, I have Anna, I have Alejandra, I have Elizabeth, I have Carlos, I have uh, Brian, I have uh, Jesus, all of you, all of you guys. <laughs> yes, like this is the old, the older version. No offense. Here are two Carlos, two Ernesto, um, two Sandras. I don't know. I only see one. <laughs> okay, people. Uh, let's begin. Share share only two examples. One with can and one with could. Okay. Yes. One question with could and one question with can. Yes. A volunteer. Okay. Can you play the piano? Can you what? Can Can you play the piano? Okay, can you play the piano? All right. Could you borrow this pencil? Could you borrow this or not? Borrow this. Es No sé si se puede decir como podrías prestarme este pencil. People, el verbo. Yes, yes. Borrow. Significa, significa pedir prestado, literal, pedir prestado. Yes. Dos palabras en español. Esta palabra es, 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 es uh, similar to lend. Lend es prestar. El uso diferente, ¿ok? Es diferente. You use can. Can you lend me? Podías, pa, puedes prestarme, puedes prestarme. Sí, okay. sí, Can you lend me some uh, bucks? Can you lend me some bucks? Okay. Podrías o puedes prestarme unos billetes, unos dólares. Y el caso de, de borrow es muy, muy diferente. Sería can. Si yo digo can you borrow. Aquí decimos, puedes tú pedirme prestado. Como que, ah, what? Ok, eso sería en este caso, puedo yo pedir prestado tú, tu borrador, tu mochila. So, can I borrow your, uh, can I borrow some bucks? Ok, there you go. Es al revés. Can, can, I, can you lend me some bucks and can I borrow some bucks? Podría, puedo pedir prestado. Okay. Así sería. That's the use. Si usted dice, can you, can you borrow me? Es como, uh, podías pedirme prestado. Al revés. No, ahora no está. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sorry about it. Let's continue. Thank you for the example, Sara. Another volunteer. Um, can, can you pay me? What? I don't know. Go, Sandra. Can you pay me? Paint. Pay me. Pay. 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 Pay what? Pay you? Money or pay the, 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 the tuition, the rent? The money. No, Did okay. you get... <laughs> Can you speak English? A little bit. Can you speak English? Yes. 
Can you yes, go can. to the store? Right now I can't. <laughs> uh, could we go to the cinema next Sunday? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got it. Sandra didn't share her example with could. Can you share it, Sandra? Could, could you visit the volcano? Okay. Could you visit the volcano? Yes, I would like to visit a volcano. Well, to climb a volcano would be a very amazing experience. Let me see. Melanie. Yes, Melanie. Can she cook very well? Okay. Can she cook very well? Yes. Could she return later? Okay. Could she return later, right? Okay. Yes. Your examples are perfect. They are correct. Thank you for sharing them. Let me continue with another person. Uh, let me see. Denise, did you share them? No, right? Yeah. Um, can you stay at work tomorrow? And could you buy me a drink? Okay. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Let's continue. Carlos Alberto. Um... Uh, can Roberto go to the stadium? Um, and the other, uh, let me see. Who burned a swimming when she was a younger? Repeat the last, the, repeat it, please. Who burned a, who burned a swim when she was a younger? It's called. Okay. Good. Could Brenda swim when she was younger? Yes, uh, it's like a, uh, podía Brenda nadar cuando era pequeña? Yes, when um, she was younger. Okay. Yes, okay. Um, okay, Be, uh, can Berta play ping pong? All right. Okay, your examples are yeah. okay. Thank you for sharing them. Excellent, good job. Edith, Adelia, Hernandez. Hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, can you go shopping at the supermarket? Yes. Uh, could you make report, please? Okay. All right. Yeah. We got it. You got it. Thank you, Edith, for your examples. Raquel, you're next. Can you call me now? Could you check? Uh, can you tell me now? Can you repeat again? I I I couldn't really understand you. Can you? Uh huh. Get me now. Okay, can you get get me the hola? Get me. Yes. Um, could you check email? Could you check your email? Your email. Okay. Okay, thank you for sharing, uh, Raquel. Let's continue with Carlos Eliezer. Hi, teacher. And, all right, the, uh, can you give me your address email? And would you attend in, to the meet after the lunch, please? Okay, thank you for sharing, Carlos. Let's continue with uh, who hasn't shared. Jorge, have you shared? You haven't. Huh? Ah, no. Um, can you bring the meal for the children? Okay. And could you give me the dinner earlier? Okay. Yes, yes. Your examples are correct. Thank you, Anna, for sharing them. Jorge, you're next. 
Diana is also missing. Could you send the email tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And can you give me your wallet? What? <laughs> please. Okay. Can you give me your credit card, please? And your credit card I, number? I, 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 I don't have. I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jorge, for sharing. Diana, you're next. Oh, um, can you go to the market on the weekend? Uh, mm -hmm. Could you learn in your defense? Uh, could you? Could you learn me your mm -hmm. pencil? Yes. Uh, make, could you make dinner with me? Okay, could you make dinner? Can you make dinner, please? Yes. Okay, Diana, your examples are fantastic. Uh, Mayra, did you share your examples? Hello, yes. Can you give me a cup of coffee? And could you help me with the client? Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Thank you, Mayra, for sharing. People. Excellent. Thank you, all of you, for sharing. Now we're going to continue. And what we're going to do in this moment is share a past ability. We're going to use or we're going to share an example with could. Okay, but let's do it right now. Right now. We're not thinking, all right? <laughs> well, you have to think, of course. Okay. You're going to mention something that you could do in the past and you cannot do now. Okay. Uh, anything. It can be anything. All right. Yes. People, in my case, I could sleep in the afternoon. Okay. Podía dormir en la tarde. Yes. Like in the past. All right. What about you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me the examples. I could play soccer um, okay. some years ago. Oh, no. Sad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> bien, bien, solver un ejemplo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right. People, continue. I could go to work in the Friday. You could go to work on Fridays. No, es lo que no es así. Es, pero como es, I couldn't. Es podría. No podría, algo así. No podía. No podría. I couldn't. I couldn't, yes. I couldn't go to work in the Friday. No podría ir. Mm, no, but we're, we're oh, expressing, no. we're expressing an, uh, something ah, that we have. Ah, pero es paz, ¿verdad? Es paz. Una, habil yes. una habilidad pasada. Yes. Mm, yes. I could. Uh, I could rest in the afternoon. I could rest in the afternoon. Okay, you're here. <laughs> it's very similar. <laughs> I I not think. <laughs> think about you when you were a kid and you were young, like play with your with you with your cousins, play with your friends. I don't know. At the school, you know. Yes. Anybody else? Alguien más? People, continue. I couldn't sing. Ahora sí puede. I couldn't sing. No I... podía cantar. I couldn't. Yes. Carlos. I couldn't dance. I couldn't dance. I dance. Okay. Dance. If you say if you say I couldn't dance, no podía bailar, puede bailar ahora. O si puede bailar. No. <laughs> solo solo uso, solo uso, solo es could, could. No podía, could, podía. I could, okay. I could dance. Yo podía bailar. I could dance. Yes. I could go to the gym. Go to, go to the gym. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. 
No, I... <laughs> okay, I could go to the gym. Me too, me I too. could Simply go more. to the beach. I, oh, yes, I could go to the beach. I'm sorry, Sa Sandra. I okay. couldn't. I couldn't. I could. I couldn't use the camera. But uh, but now yes. Okay, I couldn't use the camera. I can now. Okay, muy bien, muy bien. People continue. I could drive right now. I could. Right, right. Right. Right, yes. Escribir? No, drive, dibujar. Oh, drive. No, dibujar. Oh, draw. Draw, okay. I could draw right, right, right now. Right now, no. So, yeah, yes. I, could, I could draw, I could draw. I could draw, yes. Yes. Okay, muy bien. People continue. I could not to go to the park. I could not go to the park. Go to the park. Okay, I could not go to the park. Thank you. The example is correct, yes. <laughs> what else? I could have money. It's possible. I could have money. Podía tenía podía tener pisto. That's a very weird example. Okay. Yes. Pero sí está bien. I could okay. have money. Venga para acá. I can't okay. stay here Venga, anymore. Right. Sandra, repeat. What? I can't stay here anymore. You can't stay here anymore. I'm sorry. Te acaso tranquila. One minute. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. Okay. I'm sorry, people. I know you are tired, like stressed, <laughs> sleepy, hungry. I there is know. an example. <laughs> uh, very convenient, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Very good, people. Thank you very much, people, for today. We have finished. Uh, just a quick reminder, remember, work on the platform. I checked the platform. The last day I checked the platform was on Saturday, I think, Saturday or Sunday. I'm not really sure, but uh, there were two people. There were two people that have not finished yet. I haven't gone check yet. I'm going to go check after class to see if uh, these two people have already finished. Yes. Teacher, the unit, two the unit two or the unit one? No, no, unit one, unit one, section oh, one. okay. Yes. Okay. There were two people missing, yes. Yes. Maybe they finished. I, I haven't seen, I haven't checked the platform yet, so I might do it later on, yes. Uh, apparently, apparently it's coming Friday. We will not have uh, the session on Friday, yes. You will receive or you will get through WhatsApp, you will get the, the formal uh, uh, information, okay. Yes, maybe okay. tomorrow, maybe tomorrow or Thursday, yes. But I'm telling you now, on Friday, we will not have our session, okay? That session will be covered on Monday, yes. Okay, yes, very good. Let me take attendance or update the attendance list, and we will be free to go. Ana Victoria Galán. Yes, Azalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian David Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Orrego. I'm here. Carlos Eliezer Dima Soriano. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Diana, thank you, Denise. Diana Amilet, Maravilla. Present teacher. Se queda, Diana, por favor, a usted. Es su turno este día, quedarse. Diana. Hello. Se queda, por favor, después de clase. Ok, ok. Thank you. Yes. All right. Uh, Edith Avilia Hernández. Tres. 
este, Thank you. parecen? Yes. Ismael Ernesto Boyar. Uh, I'm here. Sir. Yes. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Sandra Ibet Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, Sara Salazar. Present teacher. And Jancy Andrea. Present teacher. People, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Okay, descans and duermanse. Okay, go, go to bed right now. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Take care. Sleep well. Descansen. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, Carlos. Take care. Hi, Diana. Hi, teacher. Okay. Tenemos unos cuantos minutos para poder este, aclarar sus dudas, su confusión, complicación con algún tema uh, de los que hemos visto o un tema aparte o anterior de las clases anteriores. Acá estamos, dígame. <risa> okay. uh, bueno, es bastante, teacher, pero sí, a veces es que la pronunciación es la que más me cuesta. Mm -hmm. Bastante el poder estar conjugando también en pasado, en presente. Eh, es algo que siempre me ha costado, pero sí, ya voy más o menos entendiendo, pero sí, a veces la pronunciación es la que más cuesta. En ese caso, pues, este, a, a veces he puesto a la, ¿cómo se dice? de las películas, la, los textos también, uh -huh. para Eso poder ir aprendiendo. Uh -huh. sí, sí. Eso más que todo. Eh, y quizás a veces también por el tiempo. No mucho me queda tiempo, pero sí. Ah, y hay, bueno, también eh, eh, quería hacerle una consulta conforme a la plataforma también, que hay unas, hay unas cosas que sí que me cuesta bastante. Es como, quizás como no hay como... A veces lleno todo el párrafo cuando hay que escribir y, y quizás me da error por eso, pero sí me ha costado muchas veces y tengo que pedir la ayuda a los compañeros ¿verdad? para poder hacerlo. Ahorita estoy en la número 9, pero yo creo que ahí me quedo en stop porque no le he podido pasar todavía. Quizás eh, un poco de apoyo en eso, Ticha, porque sí, me ha costado un poco. Ok, si quiero apoyo en este momento, vamos a dar apoyo. Este... Ah, en el caso de, de, de que, que le cuesta pronunciar, tiene uh -huh. que escuchar mucho más inglés. Sí, mucho más. Uh, escuche podcast que son entrevistas, este, música de vez en cuando que sea en inglés todo, pero música que sea entendible. Hay música que no, uh -huh. no, no, que son, no se entiende sí. nada. Ah, sí, hay que evitar unas sí. cuantas. Por eso les comentaba que la música de Adele es muy buena para eso, porque la, es, es música entendible y Ajá. frases muy comunes que, que ella usa en su música entonces Correcto, es una sí. buena buena opción okay. sí. uh, es que si sí, rodeese de inglés usted de inglés uh -huh. en todos los aspectos para que pueda adquirir ese 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 esa pronunciación indirectamente y es así cuando vea las palabras ya más o menos se acuerda de cómo sería o, o lo okay. que debe hacer también es volver a repasar el abecedario porque con el escenario podemos saber cómo se usan algunas letras, algunas palabras. Ajá, ok. Uh, sí. Eso, puede eso de, de poner los subtítulos sí me ha ayudado bastante. También eso ayuda uh -huh. un montón, sí, sí. Pero uh -huh. debe ser inglés e inglés, ambos uh -huh. inglés, ambos inglés. Aunque uh -huh. cueste ah, entender, okay. aunque cueste entender lo que digan, porque podemos uh -huh. confundirlos con lo que están diciendo, no entenderlo okay. uh, todo, pero poco a poco se va entendiendo más o menos. Yo así uh -huh. inicié, iniciaba, les pido cómo inicié yo. Yo iniciaba, me gustaba ver mucho el anime. Veía uh -huh. el, el audio, lo escuchaba en japonés, el audio uh -huh. en japonés, no entendía nada. Pero ponía los, los, los subtítulos en inglés. Uh -huh. No comprendía todo al, al 100, pero poco a poco fui ya comprendiendo. Luego me cambié a películas de inglés en inglés, ambos en inglés, luego series en inglés, todo en inglés. 
Y luego me quedé con solamente las películas y series en inglés sin ningún subtítulo y ya he adaptado ah, el oído sí. a, a la pronunciación y a entender. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí porque se ve que usted, que usted tiene un vocabulario muy bueno, uh, Diana. Eh, se, se, se ve que se le puede desenvolver bastante bien. Entonces lo que debe hacer es practicar mucho más y, y que, como le digo, rodearse del inglés, que todo lo que escuche sea inglés realmente. Sí. Ok, sí, sí, sí. Sí, me cuesta bastante. De hecho, sí, este, más o menos, me imagino que hace como tres o cuatro años atrás quizás estuve aprendiendo también, pero igual, como no se practica, se olvida. Ah, entiendo, entiendo. Sí, sí. Sí. Sí, por el, por el trabajo cuesta mucho más practicarlo todos sí. los días que lo, lo, la familia, los quehaceres en la uh -huh. casa, que, que es lo este y lo otro, y no queda tiempo. Correcto. No queda. Sí. Uh, entiendo muy bien. Dijo la número 9. Sí, la número 9. Y que por una la mayúscula hizo, la, o por un la... punto, no le pasa a esa Sí, eso sí, tiene que tener mucho cuidado. Un punto, algún espacio extra, mayúsculas, uh -huh. todo eso tiende a, a, a dar mala respuesta. La número 9. Sí. Uh, trata de. Oh, trata de. Vamos a ver. ¿Pero qué sección, qué sección dijo que era la número 9? La número 9, sí. Yo estoy en la 2, yo estaba en la 2, perdón. No sé por qué estaba ahí. Pero yo, ajá. La 9 es todavía de esta semana, ¿verdad? No me hemos llegado todavía. Es que solo son 5 tareas por, por cada sección. Usted va para la 9, dice, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, Entonces es que yo te la gracias. Esa clase no, no, no la he visto todavía, la clase esa la veremos el día Bien. Eh, jueves, creo, la clase bueno. del ajá, jueves, ah, el número okay. 9. Sí. Me Igual, me acá, le voy a explicar cómo, acá les voy a explicar uh -huh. un medio, medio cómo se usa para que tengan una idea de cómo, cómo podría hacerlo. El, okay. el, acá el tema es el wood, uh -huh. que seguimos con los modales, es otro modal que es el wood, ese que está acá, lo puede ver aquí, está uh -huh, en este. Sí. Está en el siguiente. Acá está. Okay, aquí en pregunta. Ese would se usa para suavizar cualquier verbo y hacerlo ver o expresar algo muy, muy, muy formal. Muy, muy formal. Es el, la palabra would. El modal would es para, para suavizar el verbo. Por ejemplo, si usted... Bueno, la primera dice... Uh, sería I would change this product. Yo cambiaría. Entonces, el would le agrega ia a todos los verbos. I would eat, comería. I would drink, bebería o tomaría. I would drive, yo conduciría o manejaría. Eso es lo que hace el would. Y lo okay. que expresan con would es muy formal. Entonces, iría así de esta forma. Uh, en este caso, en el número uno. Hay que ordenarlo. Hay que ordenarlos. Con ¿Y? el sujeto al principio, ah, okay. es el I, luego el... Después del sujeto iría el would, después del would, el verbo. ¿Ok? El verbo. Sería en este change. caso el verbo change, change. cambiar. This product. Okay. Y el punto, por supuesto. Mm, okay. Y luego sigue con las demás. ¿Ok? Aunque las mm. tres y cuatro son preguntas. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Ok, bueno, como me adelanté, ¿verdad? No me voy a... Sí, sí, no hay problema, no hay problema. Lo que puede hacer, lo que puede hacer es intentarlo. Si no, si no comprende muy, muy bien, lo que puede hacer es esperar para el día jueves y hacer el día jueves. Ok. ¿Sí? Igual va okay. adelantada, no hay problema, está, va bien. <risa> va bien, porque está, okay. si está adelantada, está, es mucho mejor así. Mucho mejor así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Adelante, no hay problema. Ok, teacher. Uh, y el viernes no lo no sé, ¿verdad? Viernes uh, aún no es oficial el, el, la información, pero sí. Ya se, ya se comunicó que sí, pero no se ha enviado la el, 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 uh, imagen o el, la información. Nos vamos a correr un día más, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, sí, así sería. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Se supone que vamos a concluir el 21 de julio, pero será el 22, 23, 24 de julio, porque 21 era uh -huh. viernes. Ajá. Y luego el sábado 22, 23 el, el domingo, y entonces el 24, que es lunes, okay. vamos a concluir, sí. Ok, perfecto. 
está bien, teacher. Quizás pues solamente eso. La duda que igual. Creo so, okay. que. No, si, día. si gusta el, el, día, el día jueves que terminemos la clase, puede quedarse otra vez para poder este, hacer la actividad juntos, la, la del Wood, el día jueves. Okay. Ajá. Ya okay. cuando he explicado, ya cuando he explicado bien la clase, ya puede ser mucho más fácil para usted entenderlo. Sí, claro. Mm. Ok, perfecto, okay. Bueno, Diana, muchas gracias por quedarse, la, muy amable, ok. Gracias, gracias. que descanse, cuídense mucho gracias. y nos vemos mañana, ok. Ok, muchas gracias, buenas bye, noches. Bye. Gracias.